And finally, Friday marks a big birthday for a place that has entertained Knoxville since 1909. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny has a look at the 110 year history of the Bijou Theater. The party at the Bijou started on March 8, 1909. This theater was a treasure. Bijou means jewel, but this is the jewel of Knoxville. I think it's probably got more history than any building in Knoxville. General Manager Tom Bug says this jewel was cut out of an old ballroom in the Lamar House Hotel. And it was the first integrated business in Knoxville, but it was also segregated. The second balcony had a separate entrance for African Americans. The shiny jewel lost some of its luster in the 1920s when it was outshined by the Tennessee Theater. So it steered in a very different direction. It was a used car storage lot. But the theater made a comeback in the 1930s when it signed a contract with Paramount Pictures. When that contract was almost over in the 1960s, civil rights activists were picketing the Bijou and other theaters in town for those old segregation policies. But the Bijou had other problems. The old Lamar house had devolved into a grimy hotel notorious for prostitutes. When Paramount did not renew its contract, the Bijou reached adulthood. The lowest of the low was when it was a porno house in the 60s and 70s. Police were not hot about the Bijou being an adult theater, but they were bothered. So much so, they arrested the manager and charged him with violating obscenity laws for showing the films. By the mid-1970s, the Bijou was closed and set for demolition. There was a campaign to save the Bijou. They raised enough money to buy the building to keep it from being a parking lot. 1976, the Lamar House and Bijou were purchased by Knoxville Heritage. The salvation of the Bijou Theater was successful. The theater lived to celebrate more birthdays and was back to showcasing big time talent in the 1980s. The restored interior is a showcase of art and architecture unparalleled in Knoxville. The completion of an adjacent restaurant has had a positive effect. Bijou still needed extensive repairs and this jewel was dulled by debt. By 2004, the theater was mortgaged and shut down. Luckily, our mayor at the time said this is a vital part of Knoxville. <laughs> the Bijou reopened in 2006 with solid management. Now the theater is debt free and remains a timeless treasure where the party is still going after 110 years. When you walk in the door, you see that this is a cool little theater. In downtown Knoxville, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. And the Bijou has a big birthday celebration set for next Friday, March 15th. We have all those details at WBIR.com. It is a cool little theater and so glad that the community came together to save it. It yeah. is a jewel. It is. All right. That yeah. is.